Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcro here, aka Scoot, back with the United Battle Championship Season 5, week number 5 and 6. Uh, I'm gonna do, you know, be post commentating two battles uh, fairly quickly today to try to get back on track. It's gonna be kind of a, um, a cluster video, and then we'll be back on track eventually. I think I'll be able to upload these two week five and six and then week seven to go up on friday and then yeah yeah so so then we'll be back on track after that but yeah anyways um so here we won our first two games we lost in week three we bounced back in week four um and this is week five we're playing a replacement coach so we prepped for Greg, but Greg left, but the team was pretty solid, so I decided to use the same team anyway, uh, even though I have no idea who my opponent is or any of his background. Like, I don't even know if he's competent at Mons, but we'll find out in the battle, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into it. Um, I got my extra drill here. He lives at the top of Bulu, and... Um, I click, I'm choice scarfed, so if he was choice scarfed, I didn't mind. So I'll just click Iron Head there, and he switches out to uh, Zygarde. Takes a little bit, but not quite enough. Goes for the Toxic, misses on my Kefakers. Um, pretty easy um, read on his part. Obviously, Tank Growth or Kofax coming in there, and uh, it's pretty easy read. Anyways, I'm able to get my rocks up here as he comes back in with the Zygarde. Now I'm hoping he doesn't think I'm choice scarf anymore. Um, he goes for the thousand arrows as I actually bring in tank growth this time uh, And he reveals he is not choice of any sorts like he maybe tried to bluff earlier when he switched out I do pop his yachi berry, which is really nice, but uh, he, he does poison me, which is bad I'm um, able to go for the knockoff here get a critical hit on the Jirachi, which kind of removes his uh, Mega Gardevoir check um, I say check because it's not a counter because I was like uh, sub willow or some, some something weird don't really remember my team. Here, uh, I calc banded uh, Woodhammer and it didn't knock me out. And uh, I just didn't, wasn't fully concentrated that, you know, hey, this Mon could actually learn a different move to knock me out. And it actually did have Mega Horn, which was interesting. Um, took me out. Obviously, I should have switched into one of my checks, being Cafagrius, but I didn't. Anyways, I missed a few plays here as he uh, set up my target box to try to force in his Nihilego more often than not because it's that thing combined with Helucha is a problem. But otherwise, I feel like um, I can easily win this game as long as I keep Rotom healthy and um, Gardevoir stays uh, healthy. As long as I can keep two months healthy, then I'm in a decent position. Um, he goes for the rest here as I go for the pain split. Kind of kind of saw that coming and needed a way to bring him down anyway. He actually goes out to Nihilego on this turn as I go into Gardevoir, which is really, really nice um, on his part. Um, here I go into Rotom Wash when I should have went into Excadrill as he went for the uh, Sludge Wave. Now I lose to Halucha and kind of like literally that turn right there. I was thinking of it the whole game too. Is, Make sure Rotom takes no damage so I don't lose to Halucha. As soon as Rotom took damage, um, it was, uh, I go for substitute here, as he actually reveals to be Iron Tail, and uh, I'm gonna hit him up with the Will-O-Wisp here, and I miss, and as you see, he does 72%, so he'd have been doing about half of that, so he'd have been doing about 30% with, uh, if he was burned, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's huge, uh, very unfortunate. And, but I'm able to come back in here and just click Iron Head. And I can see, I see a way to win if I can get Rotom to paint split up on the Porygon too. But that's my only chance of winning. Here I go into uh, Kieran because I know a Thousand Arrows can't, can't knock me out. And if he goes into the, uh, I should have clicked Dragon Claw there. But in case you went to the, uh, I guess my play was uh, Dragon Claw 100% because if you went to the Bulu, then I just ice him on the following turn. So uh, the Dragon Claw was 100% my play and it was, uh, would have probably been a two hit KO. So I'd have got rid of the Porygon. But in a sense, I didn't really want to get rid of the Porygon because um, 
as long as Wulu's around and it has the terrain up, it could potentially give uh, grass seed, halucha, whatever boost it could get, and then I lose uh, Choice Carver Extra Drill doesn't have speed to unburden halucha, so I'd lose anyway. So if I can't get the uh, paint split up on the Porygon 2, then I just lose to halucha anyway. And uh, as you're gonna see here, he does get to unburden with the sky attack and the mental herb or the power herb or whatever it's called. Rotom wash is too weak to uh, be the counter or the check. And uh, that's gonna be game, so a really good game. As you can see, my opponent was competent. He made some pretty solid doubles with some, uh, some nice reads throughout the match and some pretty solid predictions, predicting some of my defensive months to come in. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, week five. We're gonna take a 3-0 loss and we're gonna hop into week six now. All right, so here we are in week six where we're taking on Vepsis. Um, this uh, goes back to what I was saying in week five. He was a replacement coach and I didn't even get his team name. This is Vepsis. I actually don't know his team name either. I have not had uh, First of all, I built my teams weeks ago. Same thing for my week seven battle. Um, I did most of my prep during my stay in the hospital waiting for my daughter to be born over a month ago. And uh, yeah, so I don't really remember the team names and I don't really remember my team or my sets. But um, regardless, as you see on screen, I can still, uh, narrate a battle. Uh, I don't remember my lead here. I'm going to assume that I lead with Aerodactyl. I don't know. Just get Nope, Salazar. Okay, predict on the Cabalion. Makes sense. Anyways, uh, no no sense in pressing any button other than uh, Flying Thor there. Uh, literally was my best play if he stayed in. Uh, then I got huge damage off. He switched out. I get some chip on something. He goes for bulldoze, which is really cool. Uh, really nice tech to try to slow me down. Uh, potentially knock me out too if he's uh, like got any kind of investment because it's four times effective. He might not even need investment. I go for the uh, Z move here. Don't do shit. Uh, it reveals that Stone Edge is. Um, I need a maximum roll to knock him out here. So I'm not gonna risk that. Switch out to my check here. He goes down to the Arcanine. Gonna be able to knock him off there. And uh, he's gonna predict me to switch out here. And he actually gets it right on the money. And uh, I stay in here, because I know I can live one iron head because of my bulk. And uh, wanted to see if he would over predict, predicted me to switch out, but he didn't, so good play. And uh, he also revealed to be Choice Scarf Ironhead. So I got some valuable information there. Getting the parting shot out here. And uh, looks like he's a fan of Mega Magawa with some of the nicknames there. So that's pretty cool. Um, go for the ice beam here, not too much. Uh, I could have clicked Outrage there and knocked him out, but the thing is, the, the minute I click Outrage and kill something, Kabalan comes in and Revenge kills me. So that's out of, it's just, I can't do it. I, I, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not losing Kirin. I won't, <laughs> I refuse. Anyways, I'm gonna speed this battle up a little bit. A little bit of uh, Toxic Stalin here going on with each other as uh, we kind of uh, get each other, like, uh, a couple a couple times we get each other here in the prediction game, and it's uh, working out in, like, a, a mixed favor. Like, it's going back and forth is what I'm saying. Um, if he's Life Orb knockoff, he can knock me out here, and that's what he goes for, and he reveals me Life Orb, so it's pretty scary. I'm going to just uh, go into Extra Drill here and scare him out as he goes into his Zapdos, and here was where I realized that Zap, like, all, I have a Mon to kill all of his Mons, but at the same time, like, all of his Mons together can repetitively come in and take little to no damage, um, recover the damage off, and then switch accordingly. So, that happens quite a few times here. I'm going to try to put myself in a position to where Excadrill can win the game. Uh, completely blanked on the fact that uh, we've all gets low kicked, low kick, and it knocked out my Kyrim. I did the Calx for knockoff and Icicle Crash, both of which were doing just below half. So uh, I just stayed in and got low kicked and it obliterated my world. 
Uh, as you can see here though, starting to lose some momentum. I saw here that if I was able to uh, set up a tailwind and get up a nasty plot with the lazzle, then I could potentially win. But, uh, but that didn't happen. And then it started coming into some mind games and I started running out of options here. And you're gonna see my opponent's actually going to take the game and he's actually going to preserve differential, which actually makes sense. Um, I don't know how the standings or anything like that, or how, like, I know there's a lot of teams with two, three losses, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I know everything's still quite tight. But I haven't really got to watch any replays, and this is like a 50-man league, and so it's kind of hard to keep up with all the replays. So I don't know all the skill level of all the players, but I will be playing everybody at least once, I believe, in uh, my conference. And then I'll look at like the top two or three guys from the other conference and see how well they're playing and see like, get into their mind like I do in the other leagues. And then uh, I'll get back on track. Two losses back to back. Uh, nah, I won't spoil anything for week seven, but uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll be back on track here soon and uh, be putting a lot more effort back into things. Um, what I'm about to say has to wait until after the next video. <laughs> so uh, after the week seven video, you'll hear me uh, with the little Tim Tebow speech and then you know, you know what happens after that. So yeah, good game to Vepsis and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.